So here we are with the Nucleus update. The Nucleus 1 on this uh, setup is connected to a, an iMac running Catalina. Over the years this um, Nucleus 1 has served us well, but sadly when it comes to updating the software, the, it comes a problem. Um, the Nucleus 1 software no longer is compatible with the Catalina updates. So what do we do? Do we throw the Nucleus away? No. We are going to update the software. <clears throat> Fortunately for, for us, the Nucleus 1 is compatible with um, the Nucleus 2 software. Here it is. Running. Okay, that's the Nucleus 2 software running happily with our iMac and along with that we've had to have to update the IP MIDI software and here is that as well. Voila! So this is the IP MIDI software along with the Nucleus 2 uh, remote. Uh, that comes as a bundle with the download that you can get from uh, the SSL website. You can download this entire package with the IP MIDI version 2, there it is, and the Nucleus 2 remote software. There is also uh, some additional software, uh, namely the Java Runtime, I believe it is, which is uh, guided through. You have to download that separately in order for all this to work. As you can see, it works happily. Uh, I've got it running at the moment with the uh, Logic operating system. I'll show you how to ins uh, set it up. Let me just go back to the uh, Logic. There is Logic currently running. And if I just hit play for a moment, you can see it happily working away there. I can make some adjustments. You can see it on screen right there. Pan pots working well. You can see here the uh, uh, control surface working with logic. I can make adjustments if I hit the stop, start, play on there and it works fabulously well. There it is. Play, pan. I can even use the scrub wheel. You can see the scrub wheel moving backwards and forwards on the playhead there perfectly well. No problems with that at all. Um, what else is there? Well, there's rewind, of course, that works fine. Fast forward, that works fine. And all the other various settings along the presets along the top all work fine. It's important to note, uh, setting this up, Let's have a look at setting this up. I'm just going to flick back to the uh, Nucleus 2 software. There it is. You can see it there. You can see there's also some additional settings up there. So, for example, if I was to set this up, I would have to hit the search button there. And what would appear in the screen here, you can see there is Nucleus serial number 874. Uh, version 6 slash 1 or 1.61 or 1.62 in this case and a little tick box next to it and close. That means it's now set up. Uh, looking at the various door layers, I got my layer 1 is Logic, layer 2 is Live or Ableton Live uh, on door layer number 3. Oh there's nothing on there. Let's quickly set that up. So if I go to layer number three, door mode, I want to select my preference there, or my, uh, I think they call it the um, profile. I think that's what they call it. Yeah, profile is it? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to use Pro Tool Standard. I'm looking for Pro Tool Standard. Can you see it? I can't see it. Where's Pro Tool Standard? So this appeared. Pro Tool, Pro Tool Standard, Pro Tool Standard, and then it asks me layer protocol change. Okay, yes. So I wanted to reboot and restart now. So now it's going to go through the 
reboot process, it'll go offline in a minute. And here we go, we're going offline. It's restarting, you can see there it's got uh, the serial number, it's reloading the profile, goes to, ooh, that's very interesting, isn't it? There it goes through the whole process, and you can see it's gone red, and we're back online, I think. Are we back online? Yes, we are. There you go. So if I go to door number, layer number three, there it is. Door layer number two, door layer number one. And you can see various other things on here. Interesting enough, if I just move across there, we've got the network settings. In this case, it's, uh, it's set to DHCP. You can set it to fixed IP. You have to know, or you have to pre-set up the fixed IP. We've got it um, uh, locked in to a DHCP setup, but I would probably, if you're not going to do this, I would set it to a static IP. Okay, important to note, this won't work. The DHCP won't work if you got it set up with Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi and the nucleus do not mix. Okay, so you have to turn off the Wi-Fi and connect your computer to the nucleus via Ethernet. You could do it in one of several ways. There's the um, nucleus uh, connection on the back which connects to the Ethernet box. In, that, in my case I'm using a Netgear. And the computer is also connected to the Netgear and that connects to my router. Yeah, that's uh, how you would do it. In this case, I'm using a Netgear, both the nucleus and the computer connected to the Netgear, and the Netgear then connects to my router, home network, whatever you like to call it. Okay, and that means it's now working. It will not work if you're using Wi-Fi. Okay, uh, you need to turn off the Wi-Fi. All right, so uh, that's an important thing. But you can, you know, you can do that. You can just turn off the Wi-Fi and connect your network on the back from your computer to the nucleus, and that will work fine. If you want to have both internet access, you need to go through either your router or a Netgear switch or some other switch that you've got knocking around. We use a nucleus um, connected to Netgear. All right, good, okay, so that works fine. As you can see it, if I go tab back to the uh, logic, it works fine. If I hit play, all good. There you have it. I haven't got Pro 2 set up on here, but it would probably work fine without any problems, I'm sure, no doubt. Okay, so let's tweak around, see what we can find. Cut, solo, there's my solo. Feature working fine, that all works. Scrub backwards and forwards, cool, that works. A, hey, awesome. And of course, the audio interface on here, that's the USB audio interface, does not work. Okay, the Nucleus uh, USB audio interface does not work. That's because it hasn't got the drivers for it uh, within the current operating system. If you're using an old operating system, then it probably would work. You can only go up, I believe, to uh, Yosemite on the Mac. Uh, I don't know what it is on the PC. However, the analog IOs work fine. I can, you can see here, I got, there's the input. That's coming from the computer, audio out, into uh, the Nucleus inputs, analog inputs, and out to a pair of headphones. As you can hear them there. Cool. Okay, but the USB is a goner. Um, but this is a interesting little caveat. The uh, USB hub works fantastic. That still works great, and you can plug anything into the USB hub, and it works. Uh, remarkably well, considering. So that's, uh, well I guess that's, what's that? Two out of three functions work. Uh, the analog audio interface, or the analog preamp, 
works fine, the control surface works fine, the IP MIDI works fine, but the uh, USB 3, sorry, USB 2 audio interface does not work. Uh, but the USB hub does work. Okay, so any questions, any thoughts, any queries, or just thumbs up, uh, subscribe. Bye for now.